All right, welcome back to the Off Grid Homestead. So I've got an interesting project for you today, but I also have a cultural side note. But before we talk about that, the off-grid homestead. Let's talk about this project. So as you know, we're this close to actually having internet way out here. I believe it's gonna be the most remote place in Costa Rica with internet. However, before I do, remember, I have a tower that's up on the mountain and we had to hike those tower joints three miles all the way up there. Now from this point right here, it's actually two miles to the top of the tower from the off-grid homestead. So that tower has no electricity and I need to install this small solar equipment or this solar station up there. In order to do that, today's project is to build a box. So I've got some angle iron over here. I'm gonna build a good strong metal box out of that angle iron. I'm gonna line it with some treated boards and uh, I gotta put all of this stuff in there. Obviously, obviously it's gotta be strong enough to put this battery in here. And this battery is like a, about 90 pounds, okay? So it's gotta be strong enough to put this battery in here. Yeah, I've got this uh, charge controller and I have this uh, inverter right here. And then of course the solar panel has to go up there and that's what's gonna generate all the, or create the electricity for everything. But that box has gotta be big enough that I can mount this equipment. And then of course there's gonna be a security camera mounted outside. And then I gotta have a plug that's gonna power everything. Now this inverter does have a couple of plugs on it. However, that's just two plugs, not quite enough. So I'll install this so that I have enough to power my cameras uh, and my antennas. And as you see, now this is a small antenna. In a previous video, you saw I've got a great big, huge antenna up there, but this one is gonna be the station antenna that's gonna receive the signal here at the homestead. So we've gotta have enough like electrical outlets. Really, there's two electrical outlets for antennas, uh, which would take up all of this. And then of course, we got to plug in the security camera and anything else that I might want to add at a future date. So we're really close and that's what we're going to do. Before we get started on my project, let me share with you a cultural side note. Now, I think I've told you before, it's very difficult to find actual long extension cords in Costa Rica. Sure, you can find the three foot and six foot and occasionally you can even find some of these, you know, some that's a little more heavy duty for what we're doing today. But normally it might be 20 foot or 25 foot, very, very expensive. Well, this past weekend we went down to Panama and at the border there, you can find just about anything. So depending on where you live in Costa Rica, it's well worth it to go to the border to buy what you need. Because I told you in a previous video, I've got this 100 foot extension cord. I looked high and low, could not find one in Costa Rica. Why? I don't know. Couldn't find it. I just had to make my own and that's what we talked about. Well, I didn't want to have to go and make another one, but I was getting ready to buy all that stuff. When I went to Panama, I was like, yes, look, uh, I bought uh, two 50 foot extension cords, very cheap, uh, nowhere near the price it would have cost me, uh, would have cost me double in Costa Rica. But anyway, that's a cultural side note, hard to find uh, stuff like this. So. You go to Panama, depending on where you live at. Now, obviously, if you go to San Jose, you could probably find things better. But Rebecca and I typically live, you know, in the remote areas so that we can enjoy the natural beauty and the, the whole uh, raw Costa Rica. So that's your cultural side note. It's time to get after it. 
I decided to make my solar box two feet wide by three feet tall. Here, I'm cutting the first four pieces of angle iron to build the front of the box. Sorry you can't see well because of the treated planks in front of my chop saw. Now I've put the first two pieces in a 90 degree jig in order to hold them at the right angle while I weld them together. Then double check to make sure it's still square. It is and that's a good thing. The frame for the front and the back are done. Now to attach them together. I decided to make the box 12 inches deep which is enough room for the battery to sit in the bottom of our solar box. Oh, hey, glad you could join us for lunch. Time for lunch break. I bet you guys didn't know I got my gopher with me today. So, she fixed us some tuna fish sandwiches. Hey, of course, I always got my sidekick, Nikki, with me all the time. But we're getting closer and closer. My box is almost made. Now I need to cover the inside with some wood. What do you think, Nick? Nikki wants that sandwich, that's what Nikki thinks. Mm. What'd you think? What'd you think? Our projects out here generally go pretty slow. And that's because it's rainy season. So when it rains, we gotta put stuff up. And then when it's not raining, we pull it all back out. So. It's a lot of set up and take down, but we're gonna eventually get it little bit by little bit. Here, I've cut two more angle iron pieces that are 38 inches long, and I'm welding them to the back side. These two pieces give me a way to attach this solar box to the tower on the mountain. Alright, as you can see, the metal box itself, the frame is done, but I'm a long ways from being finished with this. At the bottom, I want to cut a piece of metal to put on the bottom, and it's going to make it really strong, and that is where our battery is going to set. On the back here, I'll cover this with this treated lumber. So I'll cut out some two-foot pieces of treated lumber. I'll have to drill some holes here and fasten that lumber to the back. I may or may not put some of that treated lumber along the sides. I may put a little bit, I don't know just yet, but I do want to cover this with just some thin sheet metal all the way around the outside of it. Now, I'm probably going to put a shelf in there for later, but this is where our battery is going to be at, our charge controller, our inverter, and then we'll be able to plug everything up so that we'll have it ready. So we're getting close. Let's take a little closer look. So as you can see, all I did was take some uh, angle iron. And remember, I started off by creating the front. And then I attached the, the front and the back with some angle iron here. And of course, angle iron at the top. Now remember, I'm no expert welder, but I can sure melt some metal together. And as long as it works, it's good and strong. Well, I'm happy with it. And heck, I get to learn in the process. So as you can see, it's looking pretty good in my opinion. Now let's take a look at the back side here. As you can see, I've added a couple of pieces back here. And really, this is just so that I can 
drill some holes up here and drill holes up here and I can hoist it up and I can fasten it to my tower. So it's gonna make it a little bit stronger. It's gonna give me more surface room so I can drill holes, fasten my wood across here. So it really is looking good. I'm pleased with the turnout. So let's get back after it. Now I'm cutting quarter inch metal to make the floor for our solo box. After a full day, it's nice to sit by a fire and relax. Good morning. I'm glad you decided to join me. Grab you a cup of coffee. Let's sit down for a spell and figure out what we're going to do for the day. Last night, Rebecca and I sat here by the fire. Not much in my book that's better than sitting by a fire. And then waking up the next morning and rekindling your fire and have a good old cup of coffee. We got a lot done yesterday. Didn't get nearly as much done as I thought. You know, everything in Costa Rica takes a lot longer than you uh, picture. Yesterday, we started working on our box for our solar system, and we got quite a bit done. So, hey, let's get a closer look. So you can see our box is coming along really good. <clears throat> we have a floor in now, and uh, let me tilt this up so you can see. So there you go. So you can see we got us a good metal floor. And uh, we have our floor in, it's welded. We got our treated lumber on the back. And now we can mount the stuff that we need right here. All right, so you picture our charge controller is probably somewhere sitting up here like that. Our inverter sitting up here like that. And then we'll attach some of our other stuff up here, probably a small shelf. So hey, it's looking pretty good. This morning we need to put a door on here. So I think I have enough metal to put me a metal door right here. That way I can lock this metal door. The sides I may or may not put wood like I said, but then we gotta cover it with some sheet metal. So it's looking good, but you know what? It's time to get after it. I didn't have a big enough piece of metal for the door. So I ended up cutting two pieces to make the door. I clean up the first piece and I cut it to size. Then I cut the second piece and clean it up. Now it's almost time to weld the two together to make my door. Okay, it's welded and looking pretty good. Now it's time to clean up the front and Rebecca is giving me a hand. All right, so as you can see, we're working on the door. I didn't have one big piece of metal, so I got two pieces of metal, welded them together. It's plenty strong. And uh, now we're kind of cleaning it up a little bit. And as you can see, I got my gopher helping me. And so right now, uh, somebody ought to be playing this song for Rebecca. And that song goes like, she's a bad man, my jamma. That's right. She's a bad man, my jamma. So we're getting it done, and uh, we're getting Just closer. All right, so as you can see, we got the door welded together. We've got hinges on it. We actually have a place where we can lock it. So uh, pretty pleased with it. It's not perfect, but I'm learning, so I'm okay with that. And so we see our door opens up fine. As you can see, you know, we've got our wood, we've got our metal, but this is where that battery is gonna sit. Now, I don't think it's good for a battery to be sitting on metal. So we got a piece of wood here we've got cut out, and that's what's gonna actually sit on the floor here. So. We got that, our, our uh, battery goes in, and then we can mount the other stuff. So right now, the only thing we have left to do is figure out what I'm gonna do with the sides right here and the top. So we're pretty close to being done with this solar box.
All right, we are finally done with our box, I believe. And so if we take a look inside, uh, everything is completed. I ended up going with the sheet metal for the top. I've got about a one inch, one and a half inch uh, overhang right here so that whenever my door is closed, won't have any rain going inside the door. We open this up. I do have three small holes there, about half inch holes and three at the top, okay? And that's because, you know, when you have solar stuff in there, the battery, anything, needs to hit some ventilation so it doesn't get too hot. And, uh, you know, some people will put holes in the top to let air out. But this is natural air conditioning. The smart thing to do is to put some holes at the bottom. Hot air naturally rises. As that hot air rises, well, it creates a vacuum pulling cold air or cooler air from the bottom. Hot air goes out. This way you have a constant uh, flow of air in here, which will keep your box cool. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to take some screen and I'll have to uh, staple some screen over the holes. If I don't, I may open this up and have a nest of uh, bees or wasp or whatever. So need to need to cover up my holes. But other than that, our box is done. I think I'm going to put a, a wooden shelf up here. But first, before I do, I need to uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my battery in here, go ahead and mount the other stuff and see what it looks like, see what how much room I have. And then I'll decide if we want to put a shelf on there. So we're almost done. Let's get after it. All right. It is the end of the second day and we have finally got our box all set up. And as you can see, we got a camera right here. We have a sign that talks about uh, your own video. And that way, in the event, someone way out in the middle of nowhere decides that they want to climb the tower for whatever reason, well, hopefully that'll be deterrent enough. But now we've got it. If we open it up, we can see that this is how our solar box looks. We've got our battery. We have our inverter. We have our charge controller. Up here, we actually have a strip, a plug strip. And that's what our camera's plugged to. We actually have a shelf here so that later, if I want to put a router or anything else, I have room for it. So we're actually looking pretty dang good. Let's get an up close look. All right, and that's our box. Really about the only thing we have left is to paint it and uh, we've got all the rust off of it. I'm gonna go ahead and paint it white, but I'll probably do that on another day. But hey, the box is done. So if you enjoyed this video, hey, give us a thumbs up and we're gonna see you on our next trip. Take a moment to subscribe to our newsletter so you can get an occasional email letting you know about some of our next upcoming videos or live broadcast. Then you can join us live where we answer every question, every comment you might have about Costa Rica. You can even join our free forum and network with other like-minded people who are interested in Costa Rica. We greatly appreciate you and thanks for supporting us as we do our best to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly about living in Costa Rica.